Ciao ragazzi, um, in this very short video we're just going to talk a little bit about subject pronouns. In the first video about active and passive voice, I talked about eliminating the subject pronoun I. And so I just want to go through a few quick examples with you now so that you can work on the related activities in your booklet and practice eliminating these subject pronouns in your writing. So the subject pronouns are I, you, he, she, we, you and they. And some of you have focused a bit on these in Italian through learning the Italian subject pronouns. Io, tu, lui, lei, noi, voi and loro. Okay. What the subject pronouns do is they tell us who is doing the verb and it's really important to know that. So the subject pronouns, pronouns tell us who is doing the verb. Okay. Now, from the other lesson that we did on active and passive voice, you remember that we had to flip the sentences around so that the object became the new subject. So, for example, I found the perimeter, okay? The subject pronoun there is I, and the object is the perimeter. We talked about making the object the subject, so the perimeter became the new subject. And found became was found. And the I became by me. But we talked about the fact that we don't really need that at the end because it's not important who found it, just that it was found. Okay. So by doing this process, which we talked about last time, what we actually managed to do was get rid of this subject pronoun. So our aim when we're checking our writing in our directed investigations is to check all our sentences and make sure that there are no subject pronouns in there. Because the minute you put a subject pronoun in there, it becomes personal. And we want this piece of writing to be impersonal, which means the person that did the action needs to disappear from the sentence. We're not interested in who did something, we're interested in what was done, not by whom. Okay, so for this next task, what you'll need to do is refer to pages 8 and 9 in your How to Write a DI booklet, which focuses on asking you to identify, highlight, circle the subject pronouns in this particular text on this side, and then rewrite those sentences using the passive construction that we talked about in the last video on this side, so that these sentences now become impersonal. So give it a go, that's pages 8 and 9 of your booklet.